Cash Bats here on Bucket List Music Reviews. Hey everybody, it's Sarah Semple reporting for Bucket List Music Reviews. I'm here to Phoenix with Liam and Mike. We're only a short time away from having Salt Dead Tired, Indian Hand Crafts, and these guys rock the stage here tonight. Uh, 102.1 is putting on the show tonight, and we're celebrating the release of their new album, Searching for Zero. I want to thank you guys so much for having me here. I um, apologize for the nerves. I thought I'd get it all shaken out before we got here, but I'm still a little nervous. Oh, cheers. Um, I was super stoked when I saw the bill. I've been waiting to see the tire for a really long time. The handcrafts is around my area. Did you guys get to handpick? Yeah, like, yeah. It was uh, us and Wade McNeil who uh, put together the lineup. It's got to be Canadian, yeah. local, obviously, locals only, yeah. and uh, yeah, we were just like, these are all the bands. We tried to even get way more bands. We were trying to get Pup to play, <laughs> but they're, oh, there you go. <laughs> but they're, uh, they're just getting home from Australia, yeah. so the whole band isn't even back from Australia. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. still in New yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. So that didn't work out, so yeah, we were just like, okay, we're going to these guys. Uh, it'll be a party. Yeah, totally. That actually kind of segues into my next question. Um, a lot of fans, kind of like myself, found you guys through Wade and Alexis on Fire. And um, I definitely, you guys have had a report, obviously, over the last 10 years of working together. Oh, yeah. Did you guys um, kind of, uh, sorry, um, how does it feel to get the chance to bring out new fans to turn on to George's new project, Dead Tire? Oh, I mean, those dudes have been the best of us. Like, they, you know, got us signed to this tour back in the day. They brought us on tour literally around the entire world. Like, George used to wear, like, our t-shirt at every single show. And, like, he's always been the huge supporter of us. So, yeah, we were, like, obviously dead tired is, like, on the top of our list. The problem is they're all, like, doing other amazing things with their lives and not just the, like, dwarves or yeah. 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 So we can't so, be like, so we can't be like, just tour. come on tour with us, like come around the world. The tattoo artist, yeah, right? Franz is an amazing tattoo artist. Like yeah. George is gonna become a firefighter. Oh, yeah, wow. there's like tons That's of stuff that they're doing. So wow. it's understandable. Oh, yeah, he's a dad. Oh, awesome. He's like Hamilton's best dad. Cool. And uh, yeah, so bum out for us that we can't bring yeah. up tour because yeah, their new record's sick. They're gonna crush it live. And you guys kind of seemed to like tour non-stop. You guys just got back from Tokyo, right? Yeah, we were just in Japan last week. That's um, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy for us too. Um, but it was super fun, yeah. The person who put out a record over in Japan uh, is this amazing guy, Hiro, and he was just like, let's kick off like the whole record cycle by just like in Tokyo. And uh, there was like 250 kids at the show, like singing along. Like, so they actually like, Oh yeah, they do like new songs. They definitely were like, singing along. Oh. Yeah, that was a super fun night. So it's not that much different performing in front of that much of a culturally different audience, maybe that doesn't speak English? Yeah, there's a little bit of like language barrier, because mm -hmm. obviously I can't speak any Japanese whatsoever. So, you know, I just tried to not talk that much in between songs, which for me is like, like one <laughs> team. So, yeah, we kind of, we made it through. And then it was rad too, though. We got to like hang out with everybody after the show. And, like, like we could have both like like communicate one on one with kids. Stoked you're here. Stoked you're here. That's cool. Well, at least you guys are all happy and enjoy it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's what it's all about. It was a yeah. You guys definitely I probably follow you guys on Instagram, so you guys definitely got to see some cool places. I know that for yeah. sure. Um, do you ever get tired of touring and being in new places and seeing new things? Yeah, there's there's those times that you don't get to actually see any of the new places or new things because you're just traveling so much. Yeah, you're getting there and you're sort of there's sweet and then uh, four hours or Yeah, and some and an hour of those ones they just like get to Yeah, or like sometimes like I know we've been to Milan like so many times in like Italy and all these places, but you're never like it's like if a, a band plays the Sound Academy, you're like, that's not really Toronto at all. You know, no, yeah. but I have friends that have never seen anything outside of Toronto other than the Sound Academy. And you're just like, that's a, just like, yeah, like what if that's a just like, air. get in a cab and go down. Well, they're like, you it's don't 50 bucks to like, take a cab somewhere. So then like, I guess I'm just going to go go-kart. Or hours in transit, I'm going to go go-kart in too. Really, always had a good way of appealing to both um, hardcore punk, but also the audience as well. Do you guys find that you lean towards either side, or do you not fall under any sort of? Yeah, I feel like we try not to, you know, 
feel like we're the metal band. My fans are metal. That's all I try to describe you guys too. Yeah, I think, I, and just because we're fans of music, you know, I don't think any one of us like is just a line in like, well, this is metal or well, this is punk. It's like we listen to, you know, everything. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. Um, you've always had a great diversity in your streaming, but I noticed with satellites you're kind of thinking now. Yeah. So is that like a new progression with your vocal range? Yeah, I definitely found like I was able to push my voice a lot. Uh, a lot of different ways, like with this record, and I think just from like learning all those like Black Sabbath, like Aussie parts, kind of like had to figure out how to like do it awesome to actually do. So I was like, oh, we could just like apply some of this, like NIB style vocals, like to a cancer rat song. You know? Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, saw a picture on March 4th. You guys posted on your Facebook, and you quoted that you guys spent a lot more time writing and working on this album than you had any of the other four. Put together. Did you feel that that kind of made it easier or harder to get that final product? Uh, I found it actually made it easier because we, yeah, the pressure was like way off. The whole thing was just like enjoyable fun and hanging out. And we weren't like, you know, like stressing out over five songs. We had like 25 songs, you know, to kind of pick from. And then we would whittle it down. You know, like we ended up with people with actually track from. Do the time right? like, let's focus on this. Yeah. But it's nice to just like not have to like if a song wasn't working out, it's like okay, let's take a break, you know, we'll work on something else, or we'll come back to this tomorrow, like we don't have to finish the song tonight or yeah. tomorrow. You know, we have the time to actually like figure it out. So like songs like you know, Yells Above and like you know, uh, it's like, tons of personal conscience that were really different for us. It's like, you know, we didn't know how to write those songs. Thank you guys so much. Oh, cheers. This is right. Thank you. Thank you.